Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you how I make my digital notes as well as how I print them. In my previous OneNote video, many of you asked about what version I use. So I'm using the OneNote 2016 version. I will include a link down below so you can check it out and you can download it. So for the first step, open your file. It can be a PDF, PowerPoint, or document. So in here, I'm just going to download this PowerPoint from our modules. I'll be doing my notes on our general chem subject. After that, open your OneNote. Then I'm just going to choose my general chem notebook here. In adding a page, you can make it as a sub page on your notebook. So just drag that particular page to the side and you can make two to three indentions like so. As you can see here, you might be wondering what those numbers and M1, P1 means. So basically, I use this so that I can organize my notes and they will not be jumbled anywhere. And also, it will be easier when we will go into the printing process. So just stay tuned for that. So for the first number I included here is the page number of my notes. The M1 and L2, it just represents module 1 and lesson 2. And for the P1, it tells if what page that notes under a specific lesson and module. In here, I'm just gonna open the PowerPoint and for easy access, place them side by side. I'm just gonna copy and paste first the title of our lesson and this is what I do in all of my notes. I put the page number on what lesson it is. So like here in my basic calculus notebook, this is what it looks like. I will show you how to make a notebook in OneNote. So just click the add notebook icon, then save it on your device. To keep your files organized, make sure to make a designated folder for your OneNote notebooks. Name your notebook, and honestly, I don't know what I will call it, so I just name it random. Anyways, after that, click create. Now I will show you how to make your own template for your notes. So after you add a page to your notebook, go to the view tab, click the paper size option, and on the side, this will appear. So choose the paper size of your loose leaf paper. So there are also a lot of choices here, or you can also choose the custom size. For the orientation, I will just leave it as it is in a portrait mode. And now we have to edit the print margins. For the top part, it should be 1 cm. For the bottom, it's 0. For both sides, 1.3 cm. So you can adjust them whatever you like, but this is the measurement I've been using. So once you edit the page size, you can also edit the page color. In here, they offer you some pastel colors for your page, but I prefer to have a plain white page color. In here, you can also hide the page title to have this clean base for your notes, but I prefer to have the page title so I can easily access a specific page. Next, you can add some rule lines on your page. They have here rule lines and grid lines in different sizes, but since I have a dotted loose leaf paper, so I'm just gonna choose none. So after you're done editing the page layout, I will then proceed to the page title. So here, you just type the word title. For its font, I use Forte. And and red for the font color. Lastly, the size is 24. Below it, I will place my notes and I use Benchcrift for my font and 11.5 font size. I'm gonna proceed now on the page heading so it's your choice if what you want to include in here. It can be a lesson, module, or chapter of your discussion. So once you're satisfied with your page template, click the save current page as a template, then just name it. So click the checkbox that says set as default template and so on. Save it and once you click the add page option, you don't have to edit again and again the page size, the titles, etc. It will automatically add your template. Template. And that is how to make your OneNote template. And now let us proceed making digital notes. So what I basically do is I just copy and paste the contents of the PowerPoint or if you have to make notes from an ebook or a PDF, I have a video on that and I will link them on the description box. If you encounter some charts to put on your notes, so for my first option, you can copy and paste it and resize them. Or if you have a snipping tool on your laptop, you can use that also. I just change the background of the slide and screenshot the chart only. Then I just paste it on OneNote. I'm just copy pasting the contents from the slides to my OneNote notebook.
So just add a new page if the first one is full already, then copy paste the header of your previous page and change the page number of your second page, just like this. And once you're done, you can now modify or edit your notes. Just put highlights on those terms you want to emphasize. I also changed the font size of those terms to either 14 or 16 and highlight them. Again, I already mentioned this in my previous video. So when highlighting, have a designated highlight color on your terms, headers, and etc. So you can also hide the sub pages of a page in your notebook to maintain organized notes. This applies to those pages that are not indented, so just click the icon at the far right of the page title. After you're done making your notes, we will now print them and I will teach you how. So turn on your printer, of course, and take some of your loose leaf paper. In here, I just use a dotted loose leaf paper. I have a link below on where I bought it. They're really affordable plus the notebook binder I got. So in printing the first page, you have to make sure that the holes of the loose leaf paper are on the right side of the printer. So to use the back side of the same loose leaf paper, just flip it and make sure that the holes are on the left side of the printer. Then just click print and again wait for it to finish printing. So you can also make this on a bond paper, just edit the size of the page and you're good to go. So once you're done printing your notes, you can now place it in your binder notebook and ta-da, you have your printed digital notes. And that is all for today's video. I hope you learned something and uh, enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, you can subscribe if you want and turn on the notification bell button as well. So that is all guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye. Bye guys.